Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet these cute little baby bloomers or shorts. So these bloomers can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes please see the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. So to begin your bloomers you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And now once you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And for our foundation chain, we are going to chain 70. So chain 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 70. So I have just finished making my foundation chain of 70. And now before we move on to round 1, we need to turn our foundation chain, which we have here, into a foundation ring. So to do that you want to slowly go along your chain, so go all the way along to the very bottom making sure that there are no twists in your chain and then you want to go to the very first foundation chain that you worked here and insert your hook into this chain and then we are going to work a slip stick. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And there we have done a slip stitch into the first chain that we worked and turned our foundation chain into a foundation ring. And now I would recommend that you just go back and double check that your chain is not twisted at all so that there are absolutely no twists in your chain. And now we're ready to move on to round one. So to begin round one, you want to chain one. So chain one. And now we're going to go down into this very first chain here that our chain one comes out of and work a double crochet. So yarn over, go down into this first chain, yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into that chain and now you want to chain one and skip the next stitch and now we're going to do a double crochet into the next chain Then chain one and skip the next stitch. Then do a double crochet into the next chain. Chain one and skip the next stitch. And you just want to continue this all the way around for round one. We're doing double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch or skip the next chain. Then double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip the next stitch, all the way around. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round one. So I have done double crochet, chain one and skip this last stitch here. And now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the first double crochet and insert your hook into this stitch 
and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch. And there we have finished round one and we're ready to move on to round two. So to begin round two, you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. And now round two is just a simple round of double crochet. So we're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch around. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet and then do one double crochet into this chain here. So I'm just going to go down into the chain one space. Don't try and go into the chains because that can be a little bit fiddly. Just go into the actual space instead. And now go into the next double crochet and do one double crochet. Then do one double crochet into the chain one space. Do a double crochet into the double crochet. Then do one into the chain space and just continue this all the way around for round two. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round two. So I have done one double crochet into this last chain one space here. And at the end of that round, you should have 70 double crochets. And now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here's the first double crochet, go into this stitch and do a slip stitch. And now we're ready to move on to round three. So to begin round three, chain one, and this chain one, as usual, does not count as a stitch. So now in round three, we're going to start off by doing six double crochets. So yarn over, go down into this very first stitch here and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next stitch. Then do a third double crochet, a fourth, a fifth and then finally a sixth. So do six double crochets, one into each stitch and now you want to do two double crochets both into the next stitch. So yarn over, go into this next stitch and do two double crochets both into this one. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around for round three. We're going to do six double crochets, one into each stitch, then two double crochets both into the next stitch. Then we're going to do six more double crochets, then two double crochets into the next stitch, then six more double crochets and two into the next, all the way around. So I have done six, then two, so now we need to do six more double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then do two double crochets both into this next stitch here. And just continue that all the way around for round three. Six, two, six, two, six, two. So I have finished working that all the way around for round three. So I have done two double crochets into this very last stitch at the end here. And now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the first double crochet and we're going to go into this stitch and do a slip stitch. And now we're ready to move on to round four. So to begin round four, you want to chain one. And now round four is very similar to round three. 
But in this round, instead of doing six double crochets, then two double crochets into the next, we're going to do seven double crochets, then two double crochets into the next. So you want to do one double crochet into each of the first seven stitches. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochets. And then into this next stitch here, we are going to do two double crochets, both into this stitch. So there we have seven, two, and we're just going to repeat seven double crochets, two double crochets, seven double crochets, two into the next, all the way around for round four. So I'm just coming to the end of round four. So I have done two double crochets into this last stitch at the end here. And now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round, like that. So there we have finished round four, and now we're ready to move on to the next round. So we are now on to round five, and for the next four rounds of our bloomers, so for rounds five, six, seven, eight, so four rounds, we are just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch. So to begin each round, you want to chain one, and then do one double crochet into every single stitch around and then finish off with a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So you want to do that all the way around for round five, then six, then seven, and then eight. So you want four rounds of double crochet. So to do every round, chain one, and then yarn over, go down into this first stitch and do a double crochet. Then do one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. And then when you get to the very end of the round, do a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So do that for four rounds. And in each round, you should find that you have 90 double crochets. So there should be 90 double crochets in each of those four rounds. So I have just finished doing those rounds. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds in total. And now we have reached where we are going to start our legs. So if you want your bloomers to be a little bit more high-waisted, then you can just add one or two or maybe even three extra rounds of just plain double crochet. It's completely up to you. I'm going to leave mine like this, but if you wanted to do a couple of extra rounds of plain double crochet, that would just make your bloomers a little bit more high-waisted, which you might want. But I am happy with mine like this. So now I'm going to move on to adding in my legs. So before we move on to the next round, round nine, it is really important that you have 90 double crochets around. So go back and check that you have 90. And then if you do, we're ready to move on to round nine. So to begin round nine, you want to chain one. And we are going to now work 45 double crochets, so 45. So yarn over and go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet, then do one into the next one, and then a third one, and a fourth, and just keep going until you have 45. 
So I have finished doing those 45 double crochets for round nine, which is also round one of this left leg. So this is round one of the left leg. So we have done 45 double crochets and I have gone back and checked and counted that I have that ranked number. And now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So you want to take your work like this, and this can be a little bit tricky, but take your work and go around to the very first double crochet on the back, insert your hook into this stitch, and kind of pull your work nice and tight together, and do a slip stitch. And there you can see we have formed our very first leg. And now we're ready to move on to round two of this leg. So to begin round two, chain one. And round two is just a simple round of double crochet. So just do one double crochet into every single stitch. So go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next one. And just do this all the way around. And this should be 45 double crochets again. So I have finished doing those 45 double crochets for round two of this leg. So now to finish off, we're going to do a slip stitch again into the first double crochet. So there we have done round two of this leg and we're ready to move on to round so three. So we are now on to round three of this leg and to begin this round you want to chain one and we are going to now start off by doing seven double crochets. So yarn over, go into the first stitch and do one double crochet. Then do one double crochet into the next stitch one into the next and keep doing this until you have seven. So there we have seven double crochets, one into each stitch. And now we are going to do a stitch called two double crochets together. So when we do two double crochets together, we do two double crochets, one into each stitch, but we are not going to complete either of them and then we're going to complete them both together at the same time. So we are effectively turning two stitches into one. So to start two double crochets together, yarn over, go into the next stitch and start to do a double crochet, but stop here right before the last step. So do not yarn over and pull through these two loops. Stop here and move on to the next double crochet. So yarn over, go into the next stitch and start a second double crochet. But do not complete this one either. So there we have two incomplete double crochets and three loops on our hook. And yarn over and pull through all three. And there we have done two double crochets together and turned two stitches into one. So there we have seven double crochets, one into each stitch, then two double crochets together. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around for round three. Do seven double crochets, one into each stitch. like that and now do two double crochets together so do one incomplete double crochet then a second incomplete double crochet into the next stitch then pull through all three loops and just continue that all the way around seven double crochets two double crochets together seven double crochets, two double crochets so I together. I have finished working that all 
the way around for round three. So I have finished off by doing two double crochets together at the very end. And now we're going to finish off with a slip stitch. And now we're ready to move on to round four. So to begin this round, chain one. And round four is very similar to round three. But instead of doing seven double crochets, then two double crochets together, we are going to do six double crochets, then two double crochets together, all the way around. So start off by doing six double crochets, one into each stitch. like that and now do two double crochets together in the same way as we did last round and just continue this all the way around six double crochets two double crochets together six double crochets two double crochets together So I finished that round and I did a last set of two double crochets together and then a slip stitch into the first double crochet and there we have finished that leg. So we have finished the left leg of our little bloomers. So now if you want you can do a quick um, slip stitch border all the way around. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do one slip stitch into every single stitch around to finish it off. But with this you need to make sure that you're not working too tight otherwise that will um, close up the leg too much and will make it too small. So just go around working kind of loose slip stitches to finish off your leg. So just do slip stitches all the way around. So there I have done my slip stitches all the way around and I reached where I started and now you want to fasten off leaving a tail to weave in later and now we're ready to move on to the other leg. So to do the other leg, the right leg of our bloomers, for round one start off by turning your bloomers over to the back and then inserting your hook into any stitch along the back here. So I'm going to go into this one, kind of close to the middle. Take your yarn, so I'm using the same yarn as before. Place it over the end of your crochet hook and pull it through and then chain one to secure it. So chain one. And now for round one, we're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch around. So yarn over, go down into the first stitch and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next stitch. And you want to do this all the way around until you get to the middle here. So I have just done one double crochet into each stitch and I have reached the middle of the back here. So I have done one double crochet into the last stitch which hasn't been worked into. And now we just need to move forward to the front of our bloomers. So take your work and turn it around to the front. And you can see here is the first stitch which hasn't been worked into on the front. So now yarn over, go into this stitch on the front and do a double crochet and make sure that you're working nice and tight. And there you can see we have connected the front and back of this leg. And now just continue on by doing one double crochet into every single stitch around until you reach where you started. And you should find that that is 45 double crochets for round one. 
So I'm just coming to the end of round one of this leg here. And to finish off, we are going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So I just worked one double crochet into each stitch around until I reached where I started and then finished off with a slip stitch. And you should find that you have 45 double crochets. And now for the rest of this leg, you just want to do the exact same rounds, two, three, and four, as the other leg. So for round two, it's just the same as this one, a simple round of double crochet. Then round three is the round with seven double crochets, then two double crochets together. And then round four is the round of six double crochets, then two double crochets together. So just finish off this leg in the same way as you did the other one. And then if you ended up doing a round of slip stitch on this leg, do the same thing on this one as well. So do rounds two, three, and four of this leg the exact same as this one. And then once you have done that, you may find that you have a little hole in the center here. And that is usually what happens with all sorts of um, crochet pants or crochet shorts. And it's really simple to fix. Just take a piece of yarn in the same color as the one you were using and a yarn needle and sew this up with a couple of stitches. So I finished doing that other leg in the exact same way. And then I sewed up the little hole in the center. And then I took a piece of ribbon or you could just take a long chain and I weaved it in and out of the gaps at the very top. And then that creates an elastic waistband. And I have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find my Twitter account. So if you would like to go and follow me on there, I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter as well. And in the description box, I will also leave a link to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested. And thank you for watching. Bye.